Grand Central Terminal, everyone. There you go, over there, Grand Central Terminal. Right behind it is the MetLife building, as you can see. We're going over to, oh, this way. We're going over to Grand Central Terminal over here. Uh, show you Grand Central Terminal. This is Grand Central Terminal, everyone. We're going to go in and check it out, okay? This is 42nd Street. In between Park Avenue and... Uh, west is over there, east is over here. Uh, that way is downtown. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Grand Central Terminal. Over here, Grand Central Terminal. Everybody was going inside, inside Grand Central Terminal. Here we go. There we go. Coming through. This is like the little vestibule in between the main door and the second door. And uh, you might recognize this place from many, many motion pictures, movies that were filmed here. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Christmas yeah. Thank you. So now. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, you might recognize this place from the many, many movies that were filmed here. Particularly, my favorite is Superman. It was filmed here. Remember that scene from Superman where uh, where Otis is walking around, unbeknownst to him, the cops are following him, and uh, and then he goes to their lair. Luther's underground lair, underground, underneath the uh, Grand Central Terminal. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the great, uh, the great open plaza of Grand Central Terminal. Okay, welcome to Grand Central Terminal, everyone. This is the uh, famous information booth with the famous clock on the top, the historic clock. Uh, it's been here for a long time. With those giant, giant windows over there. Uh, with brass uh, fixtures, very historic. Hudson Line customers, 348 train to Kissing. Crow and Harmon, first stop. We'll on the track number 27 coming up above. Grand Central Terminal. Alright, everyone. My gimbal's finally working again. After a long time of not working, it's finally working, so I'm taking advantage of it now. Welcome to Grand Central Terminal, everyone. around the Grand Central Terminal while my gimbal is still working. Here is the famous uh, information booth right in the center of the Great Hall as it's called with the clock, the historic clock on top. As you can see that is a very historic information booth. At one point they were thinking about getting rid of it but somebody said no this is this is historic this is New York. So it's still here which is a good thing. That clock Historical clock. Uh, I don't know when it was built, but sometime in the in the last uh, in the 1800s, I believe. That's an old, old clock up there. A very historic clock here in New York. Here is the giant windows with the brass uh, coverings over here. There's one on this side, and then, and there's another set on this side, as you can see. Let's go down this way, the tracks. Uh, I didn't do my research before I went here. I just know that Grand Central is a very, very old, uh, 
very, very old uh, station, and it's one of the most historic stations in, uh, in the world, in New York City. And here are the tracks. Let me show you some of the tracks here. Here are the tracks, as you can see. There are the trains. Look, there's people uh, waiting for the trains already. So. The elevators. And... If you're a fan of the movie Superman, like I am, you will recognize this train station as the place where, uh, you know, Otis, remember Otis, played by Ned Beatty, who was the henchman of Lex Luthor, was walking through the station to get to Lex Luthor's underground lair. And unbeknownst to him, he was being followed by the police. And then the police who followed him was killed by an oncoming train, which was controlled by Luthor. You have to watch the movie to... Uh, you have to watch the movie to... Uh, to see that scene but anyway here is the back part the back portion over here we have some more tracks and some more uh, stores and coffee shops here's the Starbucks the ubiquitous Starbucks coffee some more tracks over there people waiting for their trains and over here we have some more things that are associated with Grand Central Terminal. This is the passage to 45th Street. If you want to go to 45th Street, that's where you go. Okay, let's go up the ramp here and see, uh, see what we can see up the ramp. I'm trying to look for that place where you can talk into one end of the hallway and somebody can hear it over way over on the other end of the hallway and it's somewhere up here. Is it over here somewhere let's try this way tracks 100 to 117 and the dining concourse let's see what's down here It's a beautiful station. The only station that I know of that even kind of... For a second there, I lost my... I thought I lost my... I thought I lost my wallet. Oh my God. My God, man. Woo. That uh, feeling of panic came over me. Ugh, jeez. Anyway. Now, is this it? Is this the... Uh, I don't know if this is the place. Probably not. Here's the oyster restaurant here. Let's go up here and see what we can find up here. That's the main concourse up there. And it's a pretty big station. Uh, the only train station that I know of that even comes close to rivaling, rival, uh, rivaling this place is Union Station in Washington, D.C. Union Station isn't as big as this station, though, but it's just as pretty, just as grand as this station over here. Union Station in Washington, D.C. But this is not Washington, D.C. This is New York City, in the great city of New York. And uh, that's the exit main concourse let's go over here to the main concourse see what we can find <sighs> this is the main concourse everyone here's the Lexington Lexington passage I don't know what that is Lexington passage oh it goes over to Lexington Avenue I guess yeah Goes over to Lexington Avenue, which is over that way. Yeah, we're not going to Lexington Avenue. We're going, we're trying to find that place. Okay, here's we're back in the main hall, back in the main hall of Grand Central Terminal. 
the yard. We waited on. We waited in the yard. Channel for a long time. Here's the exit to the MetLife building right next door. Uh, I think that's where we went in. Right? That's where we went in, right? What about upstairs? Let's go upstairs. I haven't been upstairs yet. I haven't been upstairs yet. Let's go upstairs and see what we got upstairs, okay? okay. Let's go up here and see what we, what we can see up here on the, in the uh, balcony level of Grand Central Terminal. I bet there's a lot of nice places up there we can go. Here's where a lot of people take pictures because you have a nice grand view into the main hall. Oh, what's up here? Oh, really nothing up here. Just, just a cafe and an empty spot. I think it's better to go over to the other, the other side. This is the famous whispering wall. I don't have anybody. Maybe this guy will. Maybe this guy will hear me. Hey, can you hear me? Calling, calling. One, two, three. Nah, he doesn't hear. But anyway, this is the famous whispering wall. Uh, all right. I think uh, I'm just gonna go to that MTA shop here. If I can find it again. Look at the ceiling. It's a painting of all the constellations in the universe. There's uh, Pisces over there, Pisces, Sagittarius up here somewhere. This is the bull. What sign is the bull there? Taurus, 